Hi, I'm Nicole Goff, a Senior Environmental Scientist for Dewberry. Today we're going to talk about keystone species and why they're important to their environments. The term keystone comes from ancient Roman architecture. When the Romans would build arches, they would stack square stone blocks on top of each other, arching in, and then stop it all with a capstone or a keystone. This block would dissipate all the weight down below. Removing the keystone would cause the entire arch to collapse. In the natural world, keystone species fulfill a similar role. In their environment, they are not always the most abundant or the most powerful, but they do serve a purpose that no other species in that ecosystem can fulfill. So if they were to disappear or be affected, that would lead to a decline or even a collapse of the ecosystem. Some uh, different keystone relationships are predator and prey. Uh, there are prey only keystone species. Some are simply hosts or some are mutualists or they actually modify the environment they're in and that is how their keystone status affects their ecosystems. The removal or the decline of a keystone species has a direct impact to other species within the ecosystem.